In this video, we're going to review one place where you can get articles for your research project. Academic Search Complete is a database accessible from the library's website containing journal articles, magazines, newspapers, and several other information resources. Your instructors may have recommended using Academic Search Complete because it filters out irrelevant results you might get in a generic search of the web and provides content that can be trusted to use for your research projects. To access it, you must go through the library's website and click on the Academic Search Complete link. You'll be asked for your student ID, and once in, you will see this search screen. We're ready to search. I recommend taking two concepts from your research topic or question and search them in these two boxes with the AND operator connecting them. To learn more about how to pick the right search terms, see the video Search – How to Sketch Out a Strategy which is linked on this YouTube page. Here, I'm searching two terms pertaining to the topic diversity issues in eSports. A quick scan of the results shows that the second record seems very promising. However, I see that it isn't available in full text because there is no full text icon here at the bottom, unlike the record above it. Academic Search Complete defaults to showing you everything and you have to use the filters on the left side to limit to full text articles. Because this article looks really good, however, I'm going to quickly scan the abstract for any other terms or organizations I can jot down to research later on. I'll jot down the term female gamers and video game industry. I'll also copy the title to search it on Google Scholar later on. Okay, returning to the results list, let's use the filters on the left navigation bar to focus our search. Number one, always check off full text. Number two, use the slider here to search a specific time period, say the last five years. And number three, depending on what you are looking for, you may want to look to academic articles only or magazines or everything. Here, I'll check off academic journal articles. Those are the three basic limiters you want to use. Full text, publication date, and type of source. Now we have a smaller set of articles to view but they don't look very promising because we are searching the terms eSports and diversity anywhere in the article. Maybe those terms are too broad, so let's try two of the terms we found in that first article we viewed, video game industry and female gamers. I'm not going to put anything in this third box because the more terms you add, the fewer results you'll get. That search gets another set of articles, and this one looks at gender stereotypes and genre in video gaming and it is definitely worth a look. Clicking on the title brings up the abstract and the bibliographic information here. It's from June 2016, which is still recent. Take a look at the abstract to decide if it's worth a closer look. Once you've decided that the article is relevant to your topic, you can open the PDF and save it to your computer, you can email it to yourself, or you can save it to a folder where you can store all your articles and email them all at once instead of one at a time. There are also options of saving the citations to place in your citation page at the end of your project. Your instructor will give you directions as to what style of citations to use. Okay, back to the search. I forgot to mention, don't walk away from the computer for too long. It will time out after a few minutes if it detects no activity, and you'll have to start all over again. Remember that first article we found that wasn't available in full text? Let's go to Google Scholar to see if it was made available for free by the publisher or the university where the authors work. In Google Scholar, I search the title and get one result. If I click on the main title here, I get the page from the publisher, and they want me to pay $36 for it. If, however, I go back and click on the link to the right, I find it for free on researchgate.net. This was a quick overview of Academic Search Complete and I guess Google Scholar. If you have any questions, please give us a call. We are here to help.